Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to make a Telegram bot that uh, receives an image and then describes it. And uh, for doing that, I'm going to use the Gemini's ProVision API, which belongs to Google, and I'm going to connect it to a, a Telegram bot and uh, make it work. So before jumping to the code, there are some things that you need to do. First things first, you need to install Anaconda. If you don't have it, uh, you can just download it from its website. Uh, you can just search Anaconda Navigator in the Google and you'll, you'll find it. Then you need to make a Python environment for that. Uh, as you can see, I have, a couple, I have some Python environments here. I'm going to create a new one called Gemini test and I'm going to use the latest version of Python for that and then click on create. Okay, once you have your Python environment created, you just click on play, open terminal and then you'll see this window. Oh, it opened two windows. Okay, I'm just going to minimize it. Okay, so there are some packages that you need to install first. Uh, one of them is pip3 pillow, pip3 install pillow. We also need to install some other packages such as telebot, pip3 install telebot, and uh, what else? We also need to install the Gemini's package, Python package for using the API. Okay, so now we also have this installed. I will uh, put these pip install packages in the, in the description of the video. I will also put a link uh, to the code that I will show you later in the, in the description. So you don't have to write it all over again. Okay, so now we have these packages installed and um, let's check the code. So for, for using the Telegram bot and for using the Gemini's API, we, we need to create one bot first and then we need to get an API key uh, for, the, for the Gemini's uh, API. So for creating a Telegram bot, you need to head to Telegram and then you need to open uh, Botfather. This is the ID. Uh, once you search Botfather in the Telegram, it will pop up and then you just start. And then you're gonna create a new bot. And I'm going to call it Gemini underline test underline um, bot. And let's put a number in it just to make a very random name. And you must include the bot in the name, otherwise it will not accept it. So, okay, uh, it must end in bot. Okay, it is ending in bot. Underline bot, let's test it again. Okay, it created it. And now we have the API key and you have to copy this API key and uh, then paste it here. So I'm not doing uh, this right now for security reasons, but uh, you need to paste it here uh, before running the code. And uh, now we can get the Gemini's API uh, key. So for doing that, you need to go to Google Gemini's, um, Google Gemini web page. And once you click on this, you'll see the website and you need to scroll down. As you can see, there are different versions, Ultra, Pro and Nano. We are going to use the Pro version. And you just uh, click on this link. And then as you can see here, you can get an API key. So just one thing, apparently, Right now, it is only available with the US IP 
it's only available in US and Canada, I guess. So if you are opening this from Europe or any other places and it's not opening, that could be the reason. So here you can just click on get API key. And I already have one created and I'm going to use it. But if you want to create your own API key, you just need to click on this. Um, so I also have it here and I, I just need to copy it and then paste it here. And then for the model, we're uh, going to use the Gemini provision. And uh, the, the rest of the code is pretty simple. First, we're going to send a welcome message when the user sends the start uh, message. And uh, then after that, the user is going to send a photo and it's going to show it's processing the image. And then it is going to download that image and send it to the API. And here you can, you can define the prompt. I just defined a very simple prompt, describe the image. And uh, once you send the image to the API with the, with the prompt, then you will get the response. And then here you'll get the image description. And then you can just send a description to the user. And after that, uh, a message will be sent that if you have any more questions about the photo, you can ask. So after that, this other message handler is going to process the further messages that the user asks about one particular uh, image. And as you can see, the code is pretty simple. And now let's go and run it and see how it works. Okay, now that I have all of the packages installed and everything is ready, I just need to head to the folder that I have my Python script. So this folder, as you can see here, I have my Gemini test.py script, which is a Python script. And I'm going to write Python Gemini test. Okay, so now the bot should be ready to be tested. Now let's go to Telegram. I'm going to open Telegram and I am going to go to the bot, which I created and I'm going to click on start. As you can see, it says, welcome to the image description bot. Please send me a photo to describe it. Okay. Let me send it an image. Okay, let's bring it closer so I can easily drag and drop. Now it's processing the image. It'll take a while. Okay. And I got a very weird output. The painting depicts a scene from ancient Greece where a group of philosophers and students are gathered in a courtyard engaged in intellectual discourse. The philosophers are dressed in togas and they are depicted as being engaged in a lively debate. The students are... <laughs> I don't know what does this mean. This is weird. I cannot read this. So <laughs> let's actually... Now this is interesting. Let's go to Google Translate and see what does that mean because I'm wondering why this is making it in two languages. Let's see, let's put this on detect language. And it's in Chinese. Uh, the background means the building can be seen possibly representing the Acropolis. This is weird. Half of it is in English and the other half is in Chinese. Okay. Uh, is there anyone with yellow clothes? Let's see what would be the answer. This never happened to me that uh, I get half of the answer in English and the other half in Chinese. Yes, there is a person with yellow clothes. He is standing to the left of the painting. Okay, I don't know which one it's referring. Probably this one to the left of the painting. Okay, let's say, is there a sky? So as you can see, it can just describe the images. Yes, there's a sky. The painting shows a group of people in a courtyard. The courtyard is surrounded by buildings and there is a blue sky with clouds above. Okay, I like this description. 
Okay, so as you can see, it was pretty easy to use the API. If you had any questions or if you needed help, just let me know in the comments and hope you liked this video. See you in the next one.